in this tutorial I will solve a numerical based on our previous tutorial in which I showed you how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam carrying a point load at its free end. In this numerical we need to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram of the given cantilever beam carrying point loads at different locations. In order to draw the shear force diagram, we need to calculate the values of shear force at points A, B, C and D. And we will start from point D. So shear force at point D will be equal to uh, this point load 200 Newton. And shear force just to the right of point C will also be equal to 200 Newton since shear force between point D and C will remain constant since there is no load acting in between. Now shear force just to the left of point C will be equal to summation of all the forces in the right portion of this point which will be equal to 200 Newton plus this 100 Newton equal to 300 Newton. And shear force just to the right of point B will also be equal to 300 Newton. Since shear force will remain uh, constant between point C and B because there is no load in between C and B. Now shear force just to the left of point B will be equal to summation of all the forces in the right portion of this point which will be equal to 200 Newton plus 100 Newton plus 50 Newton equal to 350 Newton in total and shear force at point A will also be equal to 350 Newton because shear force will remain constant between point B and A due to absence of any other load. Now for drawing the shear force diagram we will start from drawing the span of the beam and as we calculated shear force at point D will be equal to 200 Newton. So we will draw 200 Newton to some scale at point D. Since the shear force is constant between point D and C. So we will draw a straight line between these two points which is parallel to the span. And shear force just to the left of point C is equal to 300 Newton. So we will draw another 100 Newton above this point to make it 300 Newton. The shear force between point C and B is constant and equal to 300 Newton. So we will draw a straight line between point C and B which will be parallel to the baseline. The shear force just to the left of point B will be equal to 350 Newton. So we will draw 50 Newton about this point to make it 350 Newton. And since the shear force between point B and A is constant, so we will draw a straight line between B and A which will be parallel to the baseline. And now joining these two points, we will get the resulting shear force diagram. For a clear visibility, the shear force diagram will look like this. Now for drawing the bending moment diagram, we will calculate the values of bending moment at all the four points A, B, C and D. The bending moment at point D will be equal to zero and the bending moment at any section between C and D at a distance X from point D will be given by MX equal to minus times 200 into X which follows a straight line law which means the bending moment diagram between C and D will be a straight line but with a negative slope. The bending moment at point C is equal to minus times this 200 into 4 equal to minus 800 Newton meter and the bending moment at any section between B and C at a distance X from point D will be given by mx equal to minus times this 200 into this distance x minus 100 into this distance which will be equal to x minus 4 
and the negative sign is because of the sign conventions of bending moment diagram. Hence this equation also follows the straight line rule which clearly indicates that the bending moment diagram between point C and B will be a straight line but with a negative slope. At point B x will be equal to 8 so bending moment at point B will be equal to minus times this 200 into 8 minus 100 into this 4 equal to minus 2000 Newton meter. The bending moment at any section between A and B at a distance x from end point D is given by mx equal to minus times this 200 into x minus 100 into this distance which will be equal to x minus 4 minus 50 into this distance which will be x minus 8 and hence it follows a straight line law which clearly indicates that the bending moment diagram between A and B will be a straight line. At point A x will be 10 so on substituting value of x in this equation we will get the value of bending moment at point A which will be equal to minus times 200 into 10 minus 100 into this distance which will be 10 minus 4 minus 50 into this distance which will be 10 minus 8 so we will get in total minus 2700 Newton meter so we got these values of bending moment at different points for drawing the bending moment diagram for drawing the bending moment diagram we will start from drawing the span of the beam and since the bending moment at point D is 0 so we will mark this point as 0 as calculated the bending moment at point C is equal to minus 800 Newton meter so we will mark this point as minus 800 Newton meter to some scale and we will join these two points by a straight line since this span follows the straight line rule now the bending moment calculated at point B is equal to minus 2000 Newton meter so we will mark this point as 2000 Newton meter to some scale below the baseline and join these two points by a straight line since this span BC follows a straight line rule. The bending moment calculated at point B is equal to minus 2700 Newton meter. So we will mark this point below the baseline as 2700 Newton meter to some scale and join these two points by a straight line since AB follows a straight line rule. Now enclosing the diagram by joining these two points we will get the resulting bending moment diagram. For a clear visibility the bending moment diagram will look like this. So this was all for today. For more about this you can visit the link given in description below. My next video will be based on SFD and BMD of a cantilever beam carrying a uniformly distributed load. For much more interesting and informative content, subscribe my YouTube channel Civil Tutor and please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates.